What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to import Mixamo characters and animations all in one special package so that you only need one file, drag it into Godot, and you have access to all of your animations at once. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. And that's a pretty bad number, so if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Dav. Thank you so much for being a channel supporter. If you want to support this channel, click on that membership button below. So, first thing we're going to do is, of course, go to Mixamo. Let's go ahead and go to Mixamo.com. And uh, this is a resource by Adobe. And we're going to go ahead and find a character to download. So let's see what character would look cool. Let's go ahead and download this Vanguard character. So we're going to use. Now we're going to go to animations. And we're just going to download the T-Pose animation first. So here's the T-Pose. And we're going to hit download. Let's go ahead and choose FBX binary. Uh, 60 frames per second with skin, no keyframe reduction, and hit download. Now, we need uh, obviously some other animations to add in as well because we're going to want to do other things. So let's say walking. Let's see. Let's see. This one looks good. Now, you'll see that this one is not in place. Make sure you change all of your uh, animation types to in place. That way, it'll be much easier to animate and adjust uh, when you're editing the actual character models and stuff, uh, character scripts, I should say. So let's download this one. Same settings as before. And then let's download another one. Let's say we also want him to crouch walk. So we're gonna go to crouch walking and set it to in place as well and hit download. Now, you're basically gonna do this for all the animations that you'd actually like to use in your game. Uh, once you've done so, we're gonna use the character animation combiner. Uh, I'll put the link to this in the description, and uh, this is an open source, MIT, fully free project, so you can download it, you can run it locally, you can set it up on your own web server, uh, you can use this one, however you wanna do it. This is a resource you can just use, it's great. So, we're gonna upload file with characters. So we're gonna upload file. Go to our downloads, and we're gonna choose our T-Pose. Let's go ahead and open. And you'll see that we have our character here. Perfect, now let's upload our animations. So let's go ahead and choose the walking and crouched walking. And you'll see that they both show up here. We can switch between them. We can see our character is animating with them. And then here's a T-Pose. And you can just go ahead and do that for all the animations that you want to add. And then go ahead and export GLTF. That's going to download a GLTF file that you can use in Godot. So let's go ahead and try that out. We're going to open up Godot 4.1.1. Let's go ahead and just open up this test project. Now we're going to head over to our downloads folder and we're going to drag this into our uh, file system. You'll see that it's importing the assets. And here we have our GLTF. If we drag this GLTF into the scene and uh, zoom out, we can see that now we have our character. It is much too large. It is extremely large. These uh, characters are often very badly scaled, but that's a really easy fix, of course. You can just actually edit the transform and change the scale to something like 0.1, and that's a much more manageable size. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we're at zero here. Let's set this Y axis to zero, uh, Z to zero, and zero perfect so now we have our character now how can we access the animations well that's actually really really easy we're going to click on this open in editor and choose new inherited and you'll see that we have an animation player when we click on that animation player you can see that it shows us which animation we're using which is crouch walking and if we click on the list of animations here we can see that we have our walking animation our crouch walking animation, and our T-pose. So if I go to walking and go to the beginning here, we can see that the animation itself is working as expected. If I hit play, it's working fine. And that's it. Now you've got a character with an animation player and all of the animations you imported all automatically mapped and rigged to that initial character that you imported. Pretty cool stuff and uh, makes importing characters way easier into Godot, if you ask me.
Well, that's it for this one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And just a heads up, I just finished up with my Game Dev TV Unreal Engine 5 Action Adventure course. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. It's getting great reviews. I'm really excited, and I hope to create uh, lots more courses. Uh, if you guys like them, uh, give me ideas in the comment section below. I'd love to uh, find out what you guys would like to see and uh, make more of it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Fresh always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect.